So you have bought uh, la demoiselle uh, au bouquet de fleurs. Ça, elle s'appelle Linda la bouquetière. Linda la bouquetière. Why did you buy it? I bought it because I find it's, um, it's an unbelievable, it's a very touching painting. It's the starting of modernism. It's the end of the blue period, which was a sad period for Picasso. He lost his uh, great friend at the time. As you know, the first show at uh, Ambroise Vollard in 1901 was a very, very sad period of his life. Yes. And then towards the end of 1904-05, he started to be in love with Fernand Olivier, which was his first love. And you would see her in the movie called uh, uh, Genius Picasso. Yes, but it's a difficult painting. Dif everything is difficult. The Demoiselle d'Avignon is difficult. Yes, but Guernica but is difficult. Super so, difficult. So but if you, if you think that difficult paintings should not be uh, important, it's a museum. It's a museum you know, we are painting. talking about importance. We are not looking about real beauty. If, if you consider art something to be beautiful, then it's not art. Okay, so you are going to to uh, Musée d'Orsay is going to borrow it. I mean, September. when you see the Gare Saint Lazare with the smoke, with this, if it looks beautiful, it's not beautiful. It's important because he started to create the the, the smoke, the abstraction. But what about this one? You will uh, uh, the Musée d'Orsay will borrow it, borrow it in September for the show. They are right? extremely happy to have it. Yes. And then the show will continue to. Basel to the Bayler Foundation. Yes. And Sam Keller is very thrilled to have this painting. He knows the painting already, he told me, when it used to belong to Rockefeller. Yes. And he used to visit him quite often. And uh, I personally knew that the painting was at, in the Rockefeller collection. And I never thought that this painting one day would come to an auction. And so when and I saw it at auction, I could not believe my eyes. And then I said to myself, I probably cannot afford to buy this painting because I'm not as wealthy as the multi-billionaire of this world. And? And finally, for some reason, I got lucky and I bought it, at, personally, I think, at a very reasonable price. Very reasonable? Absolutely. And there were no other bidders, right? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Of course you know. For you it's important if there are 20 buyers for a painting. But it's it, makes you, it makes the painting more uh, important. No, but it shows something about I understanding, you, I, I, about understanding I want to tell you, the, painting. You, the most important paintings I bought in my life are the paintings that did not sell. In 1988, I bought the painting by Picasso that belonged to Nelson Rockefeller. David Rockefeller's brother, yes. and it did not sell at Christie's. I bought it immediately after the sale. And what was it? It was the portrait of a woman playing the guitar. And unfortunately, I sold that painting, and uh, if I knew that one day I was going to buy the painting of his brother, I would have not sold the, the other one. It would have been uh, unbelievable to own both. Family business. <laughs> and I can tell you it's very important to know that uh, not necessarily... Uh, as a matter of fact, the most important paintings that we, bought, we ever bought are paintings where we, there were very few bidders. Very few, very few. Yeah. And the paintings that sell very expensive, generally they are overpriced just by stupidity and uh, people pay huge prices. I don't want to cite names because Everybody knows the name of artists that collapsed through the last 10 years and people paid enormous amount of money. It was just publicity. And now they cannot sell them, not even at the 10% of their price. But what, and I don't want to name? mention names. No, I can't because it is not correct. But okay. you know the names. I mean, you know the art market. You know artists that went down tremendously. Artists that they go from part one to part two and eventually part three. You, you speak about contemporary art, right? I speak about contemporary art, which is totally silly. It reaches some point that uh, people, artists are alive and they produce and they sell, they undersell, whatever. Merci.